And up here in Goodwill, you guys are doing uh, more research with the Silver's grain. Correct. Most of the research that's done by Oklahoma State University is obviously done in Stillwater where the Sparks Research Center is and we've been trying to do more of it out here actually in the feedlot industry where all the large commercial yards are in Oklahoma. And two years ago we completed a project here at Goodwill in which we looked at feeding various levels of wet distillers grains. Saw results similar to what others have seen, but an issue that's come up since then that we saw and others have seen is you feed higher levels of distillers in the diet, it changes the fatty acid profile of the beef. You have a higher level of unsaturated fatty acids, which means they're more susceptible to oxidation, mm -hmm. hence meat becomes rancid, shortens shelf life at the retail level in the grocery store. And, and you, what, what are you doing to prevent that? Vitamin E, which is an antioxidant, will prevent that. Mm -hmm. Research was done 20 years ago by a number of universities across the states that showed that, and we, we were looking at feeding various levels of vitamin E mm -hmm. over the course of the feeding period. You've had success with that? The meats group at Stillwater mm -hmm. will take care of all that and do all their analysis. Vitamin E has absolutely no effect on the performance of the cattle. So, I mean, the, we know it'll work, but it's just, it'll be a while before we see the data because we're just now getting cattle slaughtered and stuff, and then the meats group has to do all their work. And Brett, thank you for your time. Thank you.